All right, guys, this time we're going to show you how to lay a shower floor. In this case, we have some hex hexagon tiles. They're porcelain, they're super thin. So tip number one, use a small trowel. So if you can use a V-notch, that'd be great so it doesn't ooze up through the joints. And we're going to show you how to lay it out. All right, so we have our shower floor right here. It's prepped with the membrane, Triton membrane, Triton watertight. It's a Frankenstein, what they call it. So we use the Schluter drain with the membrane from a different brand just because I found this membrane to be thinner and easier on the corners. So what we're trying to do is get good size cuts along here, good size cuts along everywhere, but also have nice full size cuts on, around the drain. All right, tip number two. You see that Schluter logo? Make sure that's always straight looking to the outside of your shower. So as soon as you walk in, you can see that logo. So our priority in this shower floor is having nice cuts around the actual drain. Our drain is a four by four. And luckily, these hexagons are two by twos. So, Okay, so our drain measures exactly four, three and 15 sixteenths. And two pieces are right about four and one eighth. So it's gonna work out just fine for width. But for length, we're gonna have to find a center so that we have, you know, if we cut it here, we're gonna have a big piece instead of doing it, say, around here and having a bunch of little corners around it. So let me draw it up and show you. All right, so that's our square for the drain. We need to cut out all these, all these pieces marked with the X are trash. And then our drain will go in there in between. They're crooked, they're not installed yet. They roll around. Okay. Now we need to get the cuts on this side and not that side. So let's measure for it. Okay, so we have about nine and a half from tile to tile. We have some room, the thickness of the tile, which is about a quarter. So I'm gonna give it nine and three quarters and it's gonna slide right under that tile. Now I know these walls are straight and square because I prep the shower, but you should always run a straight edge and make sure this wall and that wall and this wall all are perpendicular and square. If not, your cuts are gonna have to be, you know, one size over there and then maybe a little less, a little more, depends on your shower. Don't ever just take one measurement unless you're sure your walls all are right, straight. So we got our cut nice and snug. See how it slid right under that tile. And now we're gonna figure out going this way, how we're gonna have full pieces and halves. So that's good. Now we're gonna do it the other way. Bam. Ain't that a beauty. Always pre-cut your shower floors unless it's easy squares that you know it's gonna fall full piece everywhere. Pre-cut all the time. You don't want to be removing pieces with thin set underneath it and getting thin set everywhere in your hands and the tile. It's just a mess. Pre-cut. Take the time and make it look beautiful. Once you're done with the layout, um, 
remove most of the pieces and then use your pencil to mark your start line and trowel on the one side of it so I know where to start. If you just go ahead and trowel the whole shower floor. because they will ooze through the, uh, through the joints and you don't want to do all that cleanup when you're about to grout. So be clean about your lines. Uh, make sure you, you trowel nice and cleanly all the way around. Make sure you clean it up. Use your finger, use a sponge, use a plastic wedge. Never in your life use a knife because if you cut through that membrane, there goes your waterproofing. So think of that waterproofing as a you're riding a boat. You would never slice open the, the bottom of that boat, right? So that's your waterproofing. That's gonna make sure this shower stays on forever. Um, you know, it never leaks and it's all nice and no mold, anything. So. That's tip number five. All right, so now we have our uh, new shower floor. It looks beautiful. We're gonna grout it tomorrow and um, this customer is gonna be super happy. Stay tuned for more videos. Remember, subscribe, like the videos on all that stuff. I wanna get to maybe a thousand subscribers in a couple months, hopefully. Uh, I've set myself a goal of if I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna get more uh, recording gear, like a GoPro maybe, or something along those lines, uh, and maybe better editing uh, software other than iMovie. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.